Hey everybody, thanks for joining my IG live. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds here to uh, you know get started. Um, today we're talking about ditching busy. Ditching the busy mindset so that we can have more energy. So can you relate? Um, first of all, it's Jill K from Down to Earth Wellness. Um, can you relate, say when you ask someone how they're doing and they're like, oh, pretty good, busy, I'm so busy. Or have you yourself said that before? I know we all probably have because we just feel busy. We have a lot on the go. If you're <clears throat> single, if you're married, if you have kids, if you don't have kids, it seems like our schedules fill up. They fill up with a lot of stuff um, from working and doing errands and running around and all the stimulation coming in um, from different avenues, from multiple notifications on our phone, messages we have to reply to in seven different places, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> emails, messages, text messages, IG messages. There's a lot of stimulation coming in many different ways. Plus, you know, social engagements, family engagements. Uh, when, when things were um, social, we had sports, a lot of things going on. It's busy. So I want to talk about, yeah, like how, how we can get around that and still cultivate more calm and peace and energy. Because when we're busy, it is a fast track to burn out if we're constantly busy. So I'm just gonna look at my notes, stay on track, and I'll try to keep it short and sweet today because I know you're busy. <laughs> uh, so say hi if you've joined. Hi, Sherry Lee, thanks for joining. I don't even know what day it is, Friday? Um, oh yeah, Friday's a holiday today in the Yukon, that's right. So one thing I noticed too, especially in our culture, is sometimes we were busy as a badge. Like if we're not busy, we're like, well, I can't not be busy like then I'm, I'm lazy um so we tend to just say it as well as you know I'm doing good I'm yeah busy lots on the go busy busy um but would it, how would it feel to be like no I'm not busy I don't have too much on the go I actually feel really good and calm like I don't think I ever say that we ever say that but I'm trying to get better at being like that's that is more uh exciting to me <laughs> than you know saying I'm busy um so I do find our society has that go 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 mentality that grind that push on grind on Maybe you're busy from the morning time you wake up in the morning with you go to work or you have a lot of other stuff on the go till the end of the day. You have more things on the go for social things, work things, sports things, cooking dinner, cleaning the house, getting the kids to bed. And then you finally fall down and go to sleep or you watch a show and have some snacks and then go to bed and start all over the next day. Um, and I really think if we keep doing that fast, fast pace, we, we don't recharge our batteries. We don't fill up our cup. It is a, a one way ticket to burnout and just so many different forms of stress on the body as well because we're not slowing down and resting and uh, I think sometimes we don't value rest we <clears throat> might look at it as like maybe we feel lazy let me know if you can relate I I feel like sometimes it's like a luxury to have rest or oh isn't this nice I'll rest when I'm on holidays but I'm busy in between <clears throat> but really when we rest and we slow down it helps us to speed up to have those times of intense focus creative work are doing our job really well, being productive, but then we need the rest. Just like your car needs gas in the gas tank and you need to recharge your phone, you can't just ask your iPhone to work 24 seven without charging the batteries. We have to start looking at ourselves like that. So time to ditch the busy mindset. Um, if you're feeling it, let's do it. Um, so again, it's just, first of all, we need to kind of look at, don't feel guilty to rest because resting is gonna restore your energy, your batteries so that you can be even your best version of self out there when you get back to things like at work with life. Hi, thanks for joining. Um, so one thing we gotta do is ditch the guilt of resting. Um, recognize that we can go a lot faster and shorter spurts if we rest uh, versus just constantly go, go, go. I find you can get so much more done in shorter time periods if we're just like charged, recharged. Um, so it's really about tuning into the body and knowing too, like. What is my body telling me when I've had enough and I need to slow down and recharge those batteries? Um, how long can I be busy, busy before I need to recharge those batteries as well? Um, the one thing I want to say too is uh, there's different kinds of rest. Uh, I'm going off on all different tangents here because that's how I feel today. Um, but you know, like when we're talking about recharging our batteries and we're always busy, busy, the rest isn't just I go to bed. Maybe you can relate, like, I just go to bed and that's my form of rest. We need rest from busy. We need rest. I was reading a good article about it, and 
there's different kinds of rest. There's physical rest. We need social rest from being around lots of people or people that zap our energy. We need emotional rest from things that, again, are zapping our emotional energy or draining us. Uh, physical rest from lots of exercise or no exercise. Uh, we need stimulation rest from being in front of screens all day on our phone, technology, and like all the electronics. We need rest from that, getting our eyes to have a break. So it's not just, I, I have rest when I sleep and then your mind's racing. You have so many things in your mind. We need mental rest, like jot things down out of your brain so that you can have those different forms of rest. Um, that is really important. I want to mention, and I was reading a, a Louise Hay book, uh, the other day and one paragraph caught me and I was like, Oh, that's really powerful. And it was responsibility is the, I might have it wrong. The ability to respond to a stimulus or to a stress the ability to respond. So it is our responsibility to take responsibility for our, ourselves to have the ability to respond and make changes where we need to change. So if we're starting to recognize like, man, I can't keep going at this pace of busyness, 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 because I just keep going and then I get sick and then I crash and I, I'm really, really tired and burnt out. And then I keep doing it again and again. We need to more pace ourselves and every day try to have that rest and um, action, rest and action, right? So a little bit of yin and yang, I, I think is important. So um, let me just leave my notes here. So some tips on, well, I'll give you some tips later on resting. Um, if it doesn't have to be like, you know, we are busy with work, we're busy with life, but if we can just squeeze in micro moments in our day of rest, that is one way to really, really help keep us, our, keeping our body nourished and our energy nourished. So let me know if you do that. Things like micro mini moments throughout your day, taking a break from technology, going for a walk, putting down the phone, uh, stop looking at the computer, go feed yourself with good food, a good, uh, good nourishment, good hydration, just taking those micro moments, that's going to break up the busyness. That's ditching the busy mindset. You're including some calm, bringing in the calm. And we don't want to live in fight or flight mode all the time, right? Because if we just keep going with one thing after the other, we're not being very mindful. Uh, sometimes we're kind of caught in that fight or flight Oh, I'm busy. I can't um, breathe deeply because I got so many things to do. But if we start sprinkling in these little moments of calm throughout our day, those micro moments of going for a walk for five minutes, of just taking 10 deep breaths at the water cooler, making sure you drink a lot of water so you have to go pee often and go for a little walkies and take deep breaths and just being mindful, looking out a window, coffee breaks, um, including these little moments of mindfulness, that'll start busting up the busyness. Um, and then some other things too, when, when it comes to like mindset and busyness is there's always lots to do. We can always pack our schedules full. We can always have them jam packed full of shit to do and be busy. But can we start looking at our schedules? What is in our schedules? What are our priorities that are actually important to us? Our values in our life say, um, if it's family, if it's health, if it's fun, if it's adventure, are those actually, are we making time for those in our day to day life? Um, like the, the, there's that, oh, we've said it a million times, that example of if you have a jar and you have the big rocks and you have sand and you have pebbles and the big rocks are the big foundational things that are very important to you in your life, um, they will not fit in the jar if all the sand, the little things in life, the emails, the messages, the response, uh, all the notifications on your phone, all the engagements you have, all the little things, the sand and the pebbles are in that jar first. There's no room for the big things. But if you put the big things, the big things that are important to you first, health, happiness, whatever that looks like, you know, working out every day, eating your meals, seeing friends and family, um, doing a good job at work, having a job you care about, those big things, you put those stones in the jar first and then you sprinkle the other things, the sand and the pebbles in after, they will fit. But you make the, the boulders fit first. Does that make sense? So that's a cool example I find is... If you're feeling busy all the time, start looking at what are you busy with? What is eating up your time? And are they, are these things lighting you up? Are they draining your energy? And are they the big things in your life that you care about? The foundational pieces, the priorities, the big values in your life? Because if they're not, you've got to start making room for the, the, the big things, right? The values, the things that are important, putting them in your calendar. So that's one thing I find that really helps with ditching the busy mindset, like assessing, um, what am I busy with? Like, why am I, why am I so go, go, go? What am I doing? Am I saying yes to way too many things? Cause I learned over the years that like I would have plans in the evening. I would always, yeah, I'll say, I'll do that, that Monday evening. Then I'll do that Wednesday evening. And I'll have soccer Thursday evening. And I realized after a while, like I cannot do that. I hate the week. I'm so tired at night. Then if it's just jam packed, I can maybe do something one or two nights a week, but I want my evenings 
at home, calm, catching up on life, relaxing, um, doing whatever I need to do. And so I, I quit overfilling my schedule at night, being really mindful that that doesn't make me feel very good. It's not perfect or anything, but that has really helped um, to not overcommit because then I know it drains my introvert energy. Um, so maybe you can relate. Can you start saying no to things that don't actually light you up or they're just like the pebbles in the sand, things you just have a hard time saying no to? Let's start ditching those and put the big things in that make you feel good, uh, the big priorities. Uh, if you have a calendar or just making, always making time for them, uh, you know, yoga or your walk or your run or your Zumba, it doesn't get missed because it is a priority over uh, meeting that friend for coffee or um, finishing that last email or responding to every single message you get right, right away. Like, I don't know if you turn, have your notifications on with Instagram, with Facebook, turn that stuff off. I, I see people sometimes they get notifications. They look at their phone right away, look right away. And sometimes I do that with text message, but that makes us feel busy. That makes us, it almost spikes our stress hormones and our <clears throat> dopamine. So we want to see what it is, but it's constantly distracting. So we're allowing that. It's our responsibility. If we don't want that stuff, we get to turn it off. If we're getting irritated and stressed out by it, turn it off. You can turn off Instagram notifications, Facebook notifications, log out. I get zero notifications on my phone except text messages, I believe. And like, have you meditated today? <laughs> so that's about it. Or... I think my aura ring notifies me of some stuff, but I turn the Instagram stuff off, email, I don't get any notifications because yeah, I find it very addictive and it interrupts your day, interrupts your flow and makes you feel busy. It, it does, right? Like answering all those messages, you don't have to answer them. I had to tell myself, I don't have to answer them. They can wait um, because my priorities, I'm trying to follow my priorities and those take precedent. Um, so again, it's our responsibility, which is empowering. We get to choose what our phone's going to bug us about. And with work too, um, I find if you can find your productive hours, your really productive hours, zero in on those. If it's the morning, if it's the afternoon, um, get in the focus, get it, the work done, have a list, brain dump it out of your head so your brain's not swirling with thoughts. All of this is going to help us have more energy because we're really lowering the stress in our body. We're improving the mindfulness the ease, the flow, and, and bringing in, again, more calm so that we're not so stressed, which will help us have more energy to go to bed with our, our mind not full and racing with all the things we forgot to do. Brain dump it, get it out on paper, journal when there's a lot of uh, mental stress going on. I find that really, really helps with our busy mind. Um, you know, it, it does come down to like how we do one thing is how we do all things too. So Maybe we've just been always so used to having our schedule packed and being so dang busy. And it can be a really good opportunity to look at that and look, is this just what we're used to? We're used to kind of high functioning, being high, high um, intensity in our nervous system with a lot on the go, busy, 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 and feeling calm just isn't something we're used to. I think that's something too to consider and maybe training ourselves that we don't have to always be productive and producing and just like so efficient and busy at night. We can feel calm. We can unplug. We can rest because rest is just as important as go, go, going. It is just as important. Um, and we shouldn't feel guilty about resting. Uh, you know, lots of people do it. Athletes, they have to rest. They have to stretch for all their, their sports. They train. They have to rest. Who else? There's lots of people that rest. They rest, you know, their, for their creativity. Uh, it's very, very important. Rest. Um, look at the seasons and the trees. They're not growing all the time. Go, go, go. They have hibernation mode and we need that. So that comes back to also more cyclical living, following your monthly cycle. If you're a woman with your energy levels and tuning into that and going inward more at times when you need to go inward and rest, um, that I've mentioned before my last IG live. So when it comes to being busy, really tuning into our energy levels throughout the month as well and taking things off the schedule and the calendar and not feeling guilty about having rest. Is at the end of the day, um, we're putting the big jars or the big stones in the jar first. We're living more value driven, priority driven lives. And um, sorry, that was loud. And we're trying to restore our adrenals too. If we've been stressed out and busy for so long, we really got to restore our adrenals and take good care of them and nourish them and rest, uh, calmness, good food, good eating is so important for that so that we have more energy. So that's my suggestion for today. Um, I'm just going to make sure I haven't missed anything. Do you guys have any questions? So th just to summarize, again, rec kind of take a moment to take stock of 
Do you lead a bit really busy life? Do you feel guilty if you're not busy? Can we ditch that guilty or that guilty mindset or that busy mindset and start valuing rest? Because rest is going to help you to get where you want to go so much faster. Um, and then can we assess like what is making us so busy? What are the things we're saying yes to? Is our calendar jam packed? Like, is it all just busy work? Is it all notifications and distractions or having way too many things on the go and commitments? What can we start eliminating and taking off? and switching our mindset to valuing rest more. Um, and yeah, uh, just assessing, oh, right. <clears throat> and then start looking at ways to incorporate mindfulness, micro moments, calmness in your day to break up that busyness. Days are busy, but if we squeeze in those moments of calm, relaxation, mindfulness, deep breathing, a moment to eat your food undistracted, time in nature, those are really, really going to help us not feel busy. It just, you know, sneaks in some calmness throughout the day. So our life starts to feel a little bit more calm and easeful and flowing. And I had some suggestions, right, uh, that would help you to also have micro moments are give your brain a break, um, do nothing, daydream, go into nature, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, your stress hormones will go down, ditch the phone, unwind, do mindfulness activities, coloring, dancing, daydreaming. I already mentioned that. Um, so I really challenge you to give that a try. Let me know if you will. And gradually, day by day, we're going to ditch the busy mindset. I don't think it would just happens overnight. Like, I used to be so busy and now I'm not. I think we're always going to have <clears throat> lots on the go in our lives. But let's just start incorporating, uh, you know, these little strategies throughout our day. And then start cleaning up our, our schedules or the things we're committing ourselves to. I think those two things combined will really, really help us to simplify, have more ease, have more flow, and have more energy. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys for joining. Um, and if you want help doing this, if you want help having more energy, you can always book a strategy call with me, a free strategy call um, to discuss where you're at, how you're feeling. If you're dealing with fatigue, stress, burnout, um, I can help you have way more energy, way quicker working on your diet, your lifestyle, and some smart supplementation. So you can always book a strategy call for free. Uh, the link's in my bio to do that, and I'd be happy to help. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. We'll probably see you next week. I forget how we end this, but I will try. <laughs>